Hi. How are you? Happy Monday. It's all happening all over again. Just like it happened last week and the week before that. Um, hold on. Let me cover up my face here. Okay. So anyway, sorry. What I mean by cover up my face is I, I have a computer down here that I'm looking at the chat. It's blown up, but then I see myself on a delay, like talking and I want to punch myself in the face. So I cover my face up. <laughs> How are you guys? Yes, we've made it to another week. Here we are. I'm going to pour myself a beer. A frosty cold one, if you will. Look at that beauty. So good. So good. So I will say my hellos and then I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I know you're on pins and needs. Pins and needs. Okay, let me also make sure that my angle is just the absolute best it could possibly be. I think it is. I think we're good. Okay. Let me scroll up. I'm scrolling up. You guys, I, I was like only five minutes late. I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting progressively better. Jerry is here. Lauren is here. I mean, it's, you know, the usual suspects. <laughs> just chatting, you know, knowing I'm going to be late, just chatting it up. Everyone just accepts it now. I'm late. It's fine. Anna, Anna is here. Kim McConnell, uh, Swimbo, Heather Willis. see Kate Puglia hello Kate Jenna Robinson and Mari you know what Mari Mary I'm just gonna say both say it both ways <laughs> because I can never retain how to say your name and I'm sorry about it Carrie W hi ladies having a hard day here hugs to anyone who is feeling the same Carrie I feel you. I feel you so hard, but you know what? We're gonna, this is really bothering me that that red. <laughs> you turn your camera on and you see all the things you don't wanna see. Okay, I feel better now that I moved that bracelet. We are going to have some fun here today, guys. We're gonna have drinks. We're gonna use some new makeup. We're gonna talk about nonsense. Someone's gonna demand that I do something like breathe or cough into my elbow. Someone is surely going to write in all caps and then I'm clearly going to have to, you know, pretend I'm shouting out a mountain from a mountaintop to read their their comment. These are all things that we can depend on. <laughs> My Aunt Leslie is here. Hi, Leslie. Lindsay H. Woo. Allie's son is here. Hello. Eric and Nicole. Hi from Arkansas. I hope everyone in the comments are being safe. Same. Same. Christine Chen. Hello from California. Jennifer Gould is here. Leslie Mills. Cece. My mom is here. I think my dad is here. Hi, mom and dad. Amber R is getting everything out of the way at the same time. She's giving me a comment in all caps and demanding that I drink, breathe, and cough at the same time. That will be a disaster. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, my cousin is here. My cousin Jensen. Oh, and her little baby boy Otto. Hi, Otto. <laughs> He's like, what? What? What's happening? Jenna Robinson is here. Hi, Kate's family. Um, <laughs> Wanda Crowell. Hi. Okay, so, yes, Elizabeth Gallagher, or sorry, excuse me, Elizabeth Gallagher 
said, remember please to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. So yes, if you guys haven't, haven't liked this, please throw it a thumbs up. Um, I'm sure, you know, everyone's pretty, oh my goodness, Glitter Fallout, Glitter Fallout. Linda from Glitter Fallout is here and she just sent a $14.99 super chat. Thank you, Linda, that's so sweet. Love you, congrats on 15K. Okay, guys, 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 guys. If you don't follow, subscribe to Glitter Fallout. I've said it before, I'll say it again. And you know what, I'm not sorry. You, you need to subscribe to her. Britt Clark is also here. Duh, subscribe. I've done a collab with her. Like, what are you even doing if you haven't subscribed? I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed to be seen with you on a live stream. Um, anyway, Glitter Fallout, this is what I wanted to mention. So she did this super fun tutorial because today is May 4th. May the 4th force be with you. Yes, Star Wars fans. I'm sure we have some in the house because there always is. And she did, I, I'm not a Star Wars person, but... I was there for her latest tutorial. It is all about a Carrie Fisher inspired Princess Leia look with glitter. And it is so fun. She looks so cute. I don't understand how you can look that sensible with glitter on, but she pulled it off. So please, after you're done watching this, go give Linda of Glitter Fallout some love. Watch her video. Um, I really do love Carrie Fisher too. I mean, who doesn't love Carrie Fisher? Oh, Heather just sent $50. Thanks for your Venmo help, woman. Oh, <laughs> I think that's Heather Willis, correct? Did I make that up? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Heather. My goodness gracious. Heather Willis. Damn, girl, making it rain right away. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what I'm drinking. Oh, so good. So my dad turned me on to hazy IPAs because I'm not an IPA person, but even Randy is really enjoying this and we don't really like IPAs, but this is the Brew Dog, the Brew Dog Hazy Jane. And the reason why I can handle this as opposed to a normal IPA, oh, there's, are, really, there are flies in here, um, is because it's, oh, it's a gnat. Oh, it's gonna be here the whole time. Okay, all right, it's fine. Get the hell out of here. Oh, wow, I'm just like, my blood pressure just went <laughs> through the roof. There's a gnat, guys, and I know he's gonna be hanging out around my beer the whole time. All right, I'm letting it go, let it go. Let it go, Kate. This is different from a normal IPA because it's a little bit fruity, it's not quite as hoppy, and, the and it's delicious, okay? End of story, go get yourself one. <sighs> You see, like, the gnat just ruined that for me. Like, I was on a roll and he got in the way. I'm sick of him already. Go get the hell out of here! Do you want me to make it like a bed nap to put over your glass? No, I have, I have a napkin, thank you very much. Anyway. <laughs> so... Yes, so hazy IPAs are delicious. That's and everything everything I talk about, my drink, my makeup that I'm using is all going to be linked below in you said it, the description box. Now, if you don't know what a description box is, it's that big box beneath the video. There's a box under there and it has information. It tells you things and how you access that box. Well, it's a little different according to what device you're on, but if you're on a, a computer, it says show more. If you're on mobile, I think there's like a little gray triangle or something. I don't know. Anyway, you click on it. It shows you all the things. It shows you what I'm using on my face. It shows you what nail polish is on my fingers because <laughs> I just really think ahead. So um, it shows you all the things. Okay, so I told you what I'm drinking. I said hello to people. <laughs> Jamie K is here. I'm so out of sorts today. I almost forgot chat and I don't have a drink yet. Jamie, get your life together, girl. What the hell? <sighs> I'm going back up. Stephanie Leslie, it is so funny how you reaching 15K 
keeps coming up because in my mind you were already at like 75 or 100k i'm like what you rock kate well thank you stephanie i was never at those numbers ever that was but i appreciate i'm gonna manifest that <laughs> No, so you guys, I just want to say if there's anyone new here because you found me, however you found me, or if you found me through Jen Loves Reviews, my recent collab with Jen Loves Reviews, which was an absolute dream. Um, thank you for coming. We have a lot of fun here. Um, that collab pushed me over to 15K. I want to say close to like 1,300 subscribers around that 1200 1300 something like that came over from Jen Loves Reviews which is like bananas. So thank you thank you thank you so much. <laughs> Brick Clark. But wait, 106 Oh, this is a little bit a little bit ago. She said 168 people in here and 90 likes. Get it together. Okay, are people getting it together? A little bit. There's 100, 128 thumbs up and 213 people watching. Don't make me stare at you this entire pod podcast. What am I talking about, drunk? Live stream. Yeah. <sighs> Carrie W., I think my biggest trigger right now is being told to breathe. Oh, yeah, if you want to piss someone off and really condescend to them, tell just like command them to breathe. Because basically what you're really saying is, calm down. Jeez, calm down. My God, woman. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't tell people to breathe. Don't tell people to smile. No, no, no. You don't do those things. <laughs> Not around these parts. We don't. Okay. <sighs> oh, Christian Milano said there's something about the hazy IPAs. They're smooth. That's exactly right. They're smooth and delicious. I think the gnat's gone. Knocking on wood. Anna Lynch. Oh, when my husband says to calm down. I don't want to be there for that. Lisa Marie, I tell people to breathe sometimes, except I'm a therapist and I don't just tell them to breathe. I suggest deep breathing. That's different. That's different different. Oh, is Emily Han Han here? Hi, Emily. Yes, someone named Cocoa Butter is here and I'm into it. Cocoa Butter is here. They just got here and they're pouring a drink now. That's right. Cocoa Butter knows how to do this right. Emily said it's super demeaning and diminishes other people's struggles. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> oh my goodness oh my, everyone is here guys everyone is here tonight uh emily han han is here she has a fantastic youtube channel check her out i'm gonna say all the things because they're all here i mean it's star studded what else do you want from me audra at home is here audra at home if you haven't checked her out what are you doing she does amazing live streams if you love movies you should definitely check her out because she does all the live streams about like her favorite movies, horror, all that stuff. Totally up my alley. Love it. Sassy Red, don't forget to put on makeup. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Gina Piccolo loves my head wrap. Thank you. Um, this is, my mother sent this to me. Isn't it cute? It's from, I don't know, mom, if you figure out where it's from, <laughs> can you look it up? Put it in the comments. I, guys, I have to tell you, people, this sounds like some sort of a humble brag. I don't really mean it that way. But like people keep on asking about my head wraps in a way that I can't respond fast enough. I mean, it's every other comment. I mean, like, I know they're like super popular. Like, I don't really understand. Like, it's just a head wrap, but like people love them. Like, I don't even under, I don't get it. Like, what is that? Anyway, so the point is, 
I cannot answer any more questions about Hatterox. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. No, I will. I'll answer your questions, but let me tell you right now, I don't know where this is from. If my mother figures it out, she'll put it in the comments, but let me just get it out there right away. My favorite place to get head wraps is Lush. I love their head, their knot wraps. Um, which are used for other things, but you can tie them into head wraps. And I also love the bandanas from Madewell. Those are like the two places I can kind of guide you toward. Other than, oh my God, I almost dropped. I almost dropped my beer. Like literally my spine just like tingled. I was like, ah! that would have been a disaster. Okay, I'm coming down from that now. I'm breathing. Um. Anyway. The rest of the time I just find scarves and I just tie them and I just make it work, make it work. Um, Han, Han Solo, sorry, I just wanna, I wanna say Han Solo just sent a chat, let me read it. Han Solo, let's start checking description boxes and past videos before asking questions, okay? That's right, Han Solo, that's right. You better do your homework first then if you don't know the answer, then you get to ask. I'm just kidding, you can ask me. But like, in moderation. Got it? <laughs> Did you get all my rules? Have you written them down? Christian Milano, bossy. <laughs> Paula Taylor, well, well, look who I found. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Hi, Paula. <laughs> Sarah Kleinsmith is here. My husband just bought me Lush Knot Wraps for Mother's Day. I know because I just ordered them myself on his credit card. <laughs> Guys, I just placed an order through Lush for Knot Wraps. I bought four and I'm super excited about it. I do wanna tell you if you have fine hair like I do, you're probably gonna wanna get the non-silky kind, okay? Just, I'm telling you right now, cause some of, like half of those knot wraps are silky. So I like to have like, kind of like a tough cotton situation happening. So it really, my hair sort of sticks to it. Rebecca Schmier, I'm here for this energy today. Yes. Amanda Sanford. Hey Kate, I binged I binge watched your channel today and loved the ones with Emily King Brown so much. I'm sorry if I got her name wrong. Yes, Emily King Brown is one of my friends in New York. And and we the videos that she is in, we recorded on the ship when I worked on a cruise ship. Now wait for everyone who's new to my channel to be like, wait, what? Ships? Tell me more. Oh, do I have to? God. All right, maybe. Anyway, no, Emily um, did that contract with me and she's hilarious and we had a lot of fun doing those videos. I think we did, we did one about unpopular opinions and then we did one about like travel essentials. There's some good stuff in there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Becca Duke, aren't you still on this ship? Becca, you better be kidding, girl or else you're just giving yourself away that you haven't been watching my channel for the last five months. <laughs> All right. Okay, you're kidding, good, good. Because if you're not kidding, there's hell to pay. <laughs> Lexi the makeup babe, okay with the handle. You better work it out. My pixie cut is growing into a mullet so I could use some head wraps. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, there's going to be a day where I show you exactly what's going on under here. And it's, it's cray cray in there. Um, Arturo Luna, sing the Frozen song. No. How about no? <laughs> also the Frozen song. <laughs> Let it go. No. No, Arturo, no. Um, Paul, Paula Taylor said, hang on, I have to go get my scotch. Okay, everyone, hang on. One second, Paula's getting her scotch. Okay. <laughs> Maricela says, you need to have signs in the background advising everyone you keep repeating every 
everything you keep repeating in every live so people can stop asking. Oh, I know, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting. Kim McConnell, did you see that Nicolas Cage will be portraying Joe Exotic in a scripted show? Yes, it was just announced. Randy, like, stopped. I thought someone had died. He was like, oh my God, hold on. I was like, what? He told me the info and I have to say, I think it's a good casting choice. I think that's going to be amazing. I can't. And then Michelle Wong and Better Off Red were like texting me on our thread about like how amazing that's gonna be. So I can't wait. Um, I think he's gonna kill it, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Rochelle, Rochelle or Rachel Farber says, Farber said, Kate is untamed. She does what she wants. Yeah, that's right. Wanda Crowell, are you hiding roots? Mine are horrible. <laughs> Am I hiding roots? Am I ever? <laughs> Do you see this color? Do you see this color? Girl, what you think? Yes, I'm, hi <laughs> I'm hiding roots, but they're going to come out. Oh yeah, they're gonna come out. They're gonna show themselves. They wanna play. Shortbread South. Cute. If y'all haven't watched her Game of Thrones Cersei video, you have to do it immediately after this. Thank you, Shortbread South. That is one of my favorite videos I ever did. It is three minutes long, and it is if Cersei were a beauty YouTuber. And it was so fun. I made it when I was on the ship. Um and you should check it out. Okay, so someone's asking, I see, because Randy's responding about super chats and stuff. So I forgot to mention that. I'm going to say it again because there are 272 people watching and there's only 177 thumbs up. What are you doing? Do you hate me? No, seriously, thumbs up. And um, that means like, <laughs> subscribe for crying out loud, please subscribe. And then, not right now, you don't do it right now, but you can always share and sharing is the best thing you can do. Take one to three of your favorite videos of mine and share that shit on Facebook, on Instagram, on all the social meds. Seriously, it helps me out big time. You can also support my channel by sending a super chat. As you could see, Linda of Glitter Fallout did that. So there you have it. It's super fun. It's like a party. Everyone loves it. It's it's like bright colors and you can send cute stickers and all kinds of things. Um, you can also Venmo or PayPal me. That information is in my description box. Also, Randy will put it in the chat. Because if you do that, instead of a super chat, it ensures that all the money goes to my channel and not uh, YouTube doesn't get a cut of that. That's what that ensures. But you know what? I'll take it either way. I'll take it and I'll roll around in it. Okay? <clears throat> Paula Taylor, guys, alert the media. She set two fingers of scotch and two drops of water to bloom the flavor. I have no dark roots. I'm white headed. It's so great, so liberating. Well, la di da da, Paula, why don't you brag some more about how you don't have roots? Huh? Do you want a cookie? Must be nice. Jenna, $25. Loved seeing you, Kate. You are always great. Hi, Randy. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you for, oh, Sherry Ford, $50. Happy freaking Monday. Just made it home in time. Sherry Ford, guys, people are coming through with the Venmos. Thanks guys. Teresa Byers said, I'm so late, long day at work, but I'm here. Monica McGrath, Kate, first time live with you. Long time watcher, got my Jameson IPA. So excited to be here. Settle in uh, to a great night with lots of laughs. Thank you, thank you for coming. Suddenly my, my contacts have like clouded over and I, I'm like, I can't read. Um, okay, we're going to start. We're gonna start. 
Okay, we're 24 minutes in, we're gonna start. Teresa Byers, so what are we doing tonight? Teresa, calm down. No, we're gonna start. Okay, so we're putting on a face of mostly new makeup. So I have some really great products. A couple of them were sent to me by the Earth Angel known as Michelle Wong, um, which I'm really excited about those products. And that sort of inspired me to be like, okay, I wanna use those. And I know I have a bunch of makeup that I just like haven't used you know, that I got in like a boxy charm that I didn't get a chance to review, just things I've accumulated over time that I just, you know, I haven't put on camera. So we're gonna do that. I'm pretty excited because there's lots of new stuff. Okay, so this is, I think I did get this in a boxy charm. This is the Pore, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Okay, so this is, yeah. All right, it's an illuminating primer, nothing too complicated here. Yes, and everything is linked below in the description box. Okay. Hmm, it smells fresh. Mm hmm. Samantha Sullivan, hi. Lauren, did I say Lauren Boylis is here? Lauren Boylis is here, everyone. I completely forgot. See, most some of these things are forgotten. I forgot I even had this and I love it. But then, you know, I have my Laura Mercier um, illuminating primer. The gnat is back. Okay. So okay, we're gonna rise above the gnat, it's fine. You do whatever you wanna do, okay? Like, I don't even care about you. Do you hear me? Okay, good. I think that took care of that. Okay. Great. Done. I mean, I feel like it's very subtle, but there's like a little bit of illumination going on. Let me get a mirror out. Okay. Sweet. Tiffany Weaver, which one is better? Uh, I mean, I think the Laura Mercier. I mean, this is nice. It says pores no more. So apparently my pores are gonna be gone. Are, can you see any? Are they still there? Is it working? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading your, <laughs> reading your comments. Tiffany Weaver, I don't think you have pores. I do, I do have pores, I promise you, they're there. Okay, so, perfect. Now, now I don't have a new foundation. Some of these things aren't new, okay? Some of them are new-ish, if you will. So this is my Bite Change Maker Foundation, which is, as you know, probably getting sick of it, I'm sorry but I love it and it's perfection. Oh shoot, I was gonna, all right, I'll do that later. This is definitely like a your skin, but better foundation. And if you want something that's natural and still has a little bit of dewiness to it, but isn't like, you know, super, super dewy. This is a really nice middle ground. Kate Puglia, gah, it's my Sephora order, order that will come in 2021. Oh my God. Exactly. Guys, my second Sephora order shipped today after it was pending for like over two weeks. I almost screamed. So excited. Carolina is here from Germany. Makeup and beauty by Caro or Caro. Um, she has an Instagram you should follow. Go to that. Makeup and beauty by, it's literally right there in her handle. But I was creeping on it today and it's amazing. 
Um, I believe it's like 1 a.m. in Germany right now. So thank you for your uh, devotion. Oh, I should mention her Instagram is a makeup Instagram because she's a makeup artist and she looks like pretty damn legit. So, oh, she said it's 1.36 a.m. in Germany. Damn. Mimi Micro said her Sephora order shipped today, too. It's good to hear. I mean, I think they're getting it together over there. That's Sephora. <laughs> Sassy Red is is literally like going bounce, 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 bounce. I do like that. That sort of like bouncy padding feeling of this sponge. I like to beat that face, you know? Swimbo said, I'm still waiting for my Kate merch. I know, guys. I'm sorry. They're probably slow at Teespring as well. Han Solo, I got the Fenty Gloss Bundle with Fenty Glow and Sweet Mouth during the VIB and I cannot wait to try her formula. I've heard nonstop good things. I don't, I don't know about that gloss bundle, but I mean, I love her glosses, so. Okay, I think, I think we've done enough of that, haven't we? I think we have. Now, this is what I was gonna do. I was gonna mix this in and I was, flapping my yapper and I forgot. So go figure. Stephanie Leslie, I think people need to be nice to Sephora. Those workers are probably being paid peanuts per hour while we sit on our couches and complain. 100%, 100%, like I can't even imagine. Okay, so this is the Max Strobe Cream. It is obviously a, like a trial size. I forgot I even had this. I don't even think I've used it. This is in pink light which, I mean, it just looks white on the screen, but I was gonna mix it in with my foundation, but oh well, I'll just go like this and just give myself like an extra bit of dew. Do you see the dew right there? Mm, so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm really bummed I didn't make this, mix this into my foundation. Like I'm actually like kicking myself about it, but. Well, we're gonna let it go. Okay. I mean, this is not all the highlighter we're gonna do. So it's gonna get real, real glossy up in here. Okay, next, we're gonna take a drink. That's what we're gonna do. Cause we worked hard. We worked hard and we deserve it. Oh. Hey, Christian Milano. Hey, Kate, can we do a night where you use all drugstore makeup for us cheap asses? Um, yes, I've been thinking. Oh, my dad. My dad sent $20 in a super chat. Thanks, dad. Oh, I love a dancing pair. Who doesn't love a dancing pair? Oh. Okay. So... Wait, what just happened? <laughs> oh, cheap asses, cheap people. Christian Milano. Christian Milano's cheap, guys. Just in case you didn't know, she's a cheap ass. And yes, <laughs> yes, I am going to. I know, like my my recent videos have been very bougie. I will admit. However, everything I featured, I feel very strongly about. You guys know I wouldn't like throw up something like very expensive if I, if I thought it was, you know, mediocre, but there's been some good stuff. Okay. So we're going to, there actually is, wait, wait for it. There's one drugstore product in here. What will it be? You're going to have to stay to the end to find out. Okay. So this is the Pat McGrath labs. Why do I feel like I have to say the whole name? It's exhausting. This is the sublime, the sublime perfection concealer. I mean, it's the only concealer she has. It's the best concealer I've ever freaking seen in my life. Even if you're a cheap ass, you should throw down the money and get this. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to, but like if you want 
like the smoothest under eyes ever and you want it to look like you were born yesterday, then you should. I mean, who doesn't want that? Boop. Boop. Okay, Puglia said it makes me angry how good it is. It is. It's it's enraging. Enraging. Emily Boynton said, yes, you got it and agree completely. Oh, just got it and agree completely. Exactly. Swimbo, I prefer to spend my money on skincare. With good skin, you can use any makeup. That's correct. Except you still need this concealer. I'm sorry, I, you, but you do. But yes, generally speaking, yay, skincare. Why am I not using a mirror? Like, I'm literally not even looking. I'm like, <laughs> I'm glad you guys trust my opinion. What's she doing? She's not even looking at what she's doing. She thinks she's a beauty YouTuber? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna focus and then scroll back up. <laughs> I could take an eye out if I'm not paying attention. Take an eye out with this really puffy sponge. Okay. Do you see? Are you seeing this? All right, all right. I know, I said enough. I'm just putting it out there again, that's all. Jennifer Gould, if I could only get one, the powder or the concealer? The, the concealer, for sure, like 100%. The powder is like, you kind of need the powder, but like if you could only get one, get the concealer. Okay, people are asking about TV, TV and movies, don't you guys worry because I'm gonna tell you what we watched. First of all, do you guys care about Star Wars? How do we feel? Um, I hate Star Wars, I'll tell you that's how I feel. While I'm telling you, I'm going to put, <laughs> people just clicking off, like literally the biggest day of the year for Star Wars, I'm like, I hate Star Wars. <laughs> Was that a smart move? We'll find out. Uh, it's cloud paint, cloud paint. I'm pulling it out again. Not well, this actually is new, but I, I've used it the last couple of videos. Um, this is in dusk, which is, is very subtle, but gorge. Um, I chose a, a more subtle cream blush because the blush is brand new and it's amazing. So that's, that's going to be sort of one of the stars of the show here. But you know, I can't not do a cream blush to really like drive everything home big time. You know what I mean? Kim McConnell, I haven't seen any Star Wars movies. Wow, Kim. I mean, I don't wanna be controversial, but you're not missing anything. I mean, <laughs> what? Um, no, I've seen almost all of them. Do you wanna know why? Because, um, because boys. I remember in, in college, I really liked this boy named Ben and I could tell he really wasn't into me, but somehow I swindled him into getting together because I said I'd just watch like a Star Wars marathon. Boy, was that a mistake. Horrible, horrible mistake. I can't get those hours back. I have no idea what happened. I just like, I, I would literally, rather eat a hot bowl of worms while watching paint dry than watch Star Wars, okay? I can't. I'm sorry if you love it. You're in the majority. Yay you, you're nailing it to the ground. Yay Star Wars. No, 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 no for me, okay? 
Um, that being said, Randy was watching it today and I was like over here getting ready for this. And I was kind of like, wait, did someone say I'm being hard? Jerry Morrison, wow, Kate, that's harsh. Yeah, that's right, Jerry, you, you heard me right. That's how strongly I feel and I'm not taking it back. Someone said we can't be friends. Georgia, I'm sorry, bye. It was nice knowing you. Hi, Georgia. Get it, don't leave. But if you have to, I guess. Um, Randy likes it, does that help? Woohoo! He was watching it and I was like tuning in and out, but like barely paying attention. But paying enough attention to recognize how, what, what, what one were you watching? The Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace. Natalie Portman is one of the most celebrated actresses of our time, okay? I love Natalie Portman. What in the hell is she doing in that movie? It's literally like they just went out on the sidewalk and pulled some random girl off the street and threw her on in the movie set and was like, have a go at it, I don't know, just make some choices or actually don't make any choices. Just be the most boring version of yourself you can be. It's literally like I'm watching a community theater production of The Phantom Menace. I don't know what happened. Like, what happened? It's like, Randy was like, I think she's high. Like, when we watched the scene, I was like, I think she might be. I don't understand. There's some terrible acting going on. My God. <sighs> I, like, it's truly a mystery to me. I'm just, I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. Like, I, I, Natalie, like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm backing off of Natalie Portman. <sighs> but I mean, <laughs> geez Louise. Maggie Myers, yeah, definitely not Natalie's best work. Well, Maggie's being very kind today. She's, she's in a sugar coating kind of mood. I would go to see like a community theater version of Star Wars. That I would go to, I think, maybe, maybe, if I was drunk um, and someone made me, someone like literally like put a gun to my head, then I would go. <clears throat> so yes, also what else do I have to say about Star Wars? Um, also, Chris, who, what's, what's his name? Christian Haydenson. Christian Haydenson. <laughs> same thing like literally like the stiffest acting you've ever seen and then I just I don't understand I, I don't understand there's a child in that movie he's terrible as well I, I, you know what happened those, those are both Anakin there's Jake Lloyd as little Anakin and Hayden Christensen as baby Anakin okay well the baby Anakin doesn't matter whatever Anakin we're talking about they're terrible both of them equally Child and adult, terrible. That's true. See, he says it's true as well. Um, how many? T how much? How long can I do this? Should we? I'm. Get this is like a really nice facial massage, don't you think? Just this while I'm talking, like just mindlessly. Um, <laughs> what other thoughts did I have? I don't know. I like the only thing I can do with Star Wars is like the very cute creatures. But then I had this whole discussion about with Randy about how like, you know, basically George Lucas, George Lucas. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Wow. I really, I knew that, but I, I questioned myself for a second. <sighs> um, you know, when you're talking about something you don't give a shit about and you're like, did I say that right? That's me right now. So George Lucas basically just put like the Ewoks in and like Jar Jar Binks, not the same and not cute like Ewoks. So not comparable. I'm here for the Ewoks and I'm here for the Porgs. Okay. And they were put in because wait, Better Off Red is here. Better Off Red is here. She's correcting someone. Is she correcting me? I don't know. No, Randy would do that. <laughs> oh, wait, no, she's, yeah, she's right. I, I completely, like, mixed up his name. What's, it, what's the name? Hayden Christensen. What did I say? I, I said Chris, I think I said Kristen Hayden said. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Him. That, that guy. <laughs> you knew what we meant. 
Um, the Porgs, I'm into. I have a Porg right here, okay? And wait. Okay, I don't care if George Lucas is a sellout. I'm into it, and this is the only thing I care about. Someone said, oh no, Mr. Kong's mom. Oh yes. Oh yes. You want it again, don't you? <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Shut up, shut up, we're done. Shut up. Shut up, damn it. <laughs> Lauren said, stop. No. <laughs> okay, I know. So anyway, that's that's it. The Porgs and the Ewoks, I can get down with. I cannot do, I know Jar Jar Binks was widely hated. He was made for the kids. It's unacceptable. George Lucas should be thrown in oncoming traffic. People are saying the Porgs are creepy. What? No. No. Michael Brown, you're gonna, or you're gonna be a great mom. Shut up, damn it! That's why I'm not gonna be a mom. <laughs> um, Amber R. I feel like this is like when I gave my tickle me cookie monster, tickle me cookie monster to a kid, and they started to cry. Are you talking about tickle me Elmo? Was there a tickle me cookie monster? Someone answer immediately. Okay, that is Elmo. I was like, did I miss a Tickle Me Cookie Monster? Because I've got to go on Evie immediately and get one. Okay. Wow, this really took up some time. <sighs> Bitching about Star Wars <laughs> on May 4th. You're welcome, everyone. Um, there is a Cookie Monster. Anna Lynch said there's a, a Tickle Me Cookie Monster. And we poo-pooed it. How dare we? This is the Pat McGrath uh, blurring under eye powder, okay? What, what do I wanna use here? Damn it, I should've put my, oh, here we go, okay. This, I just, I don't even know what to say. Like Britt Clark put this in her April favorites as well. And she was like, I have never seen, I wish I could do it in her accent. I, I can't, I have to, I'd have to watch her and try to harness it. I don't want to screw it up, but like, I do love her accent. Um, but she was like, I've never seen my under eyes so smooth that there we go. Smooth. They're so smooth. <laughs> and I agree. I concur. I'm trying to think if I have any other thoughts about Star Wars, but I don't. Is someone saying Adam Driver. Yes, Adam Driver is fine by me, okay? But I don't... Yeah, I love Adam Driver. Um, I just... I don't know. Even Samuel L. Jackson in that movie, I feel like, is a little cardboard. I'm like, what? What's going on? Did everyone just get all the acting life just sucked out of them when they walked on set? Anyway, moving on to my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. We're getting to the newer stuff. Hold on. The airbrush flawless finish in perfecting micro powder. Christian Milano, by the way, I just ordered the Pat McGrath concealer. Oh, it better be good. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Just wait, just you wait. Um, side note. I did my, my last live stream, I talked about like all the brushes I use, I linked below and they were all BK Beauty brushes, which are my favorite brushes. And BK Beauty um, is having a 20 to 30% off site-wide sale through May 10th for Mother's Day if you use the code MOM20. Um, BK Beauty brush, bunny on the face, bunny on the face, so good. People are really, really 
grilling me about if I had to choose. <laughs> Guys, don't make me choose. <sighs> I feel like I'm in Sophie's Choice. Wait, what? It, I lost it. Kate, Heather Willis, Kate. Okay, well, Heather, Heather Willis paid me, so I, I will answer her question. I'm just kidding. Kate. Pat McGrath or, or Charlotte Tilbury powder if you had to choose? Well, see, now that's tough because the Charlotte Ter Tilbury can do... Tilbury? Whoa. Tilbury can do both. So, like, this is a great under eye setting powder as well. So if you could only get one, I would get this because you can set your face and your under eyes with it. This is, you know, it's tiny and it's, it's for the under eye specifically. So if you had to choose... I would get the Charlotte Tilbury, which is linked below in my description box. Oh, I forgot to link my earrings in the description box. Damn it. I will. Okay. I think we've powdered enough. We've powdered enough. Roya Rahim. I'm so glad I got you live. I got the BK Beauty face set brushes because of your recommendation. The foundation brush was sold out. I got the whole set. Yes. Yes. Val, Val Lushy. That's a great last name. Am I saying it right? Kate, you made me buy the Hourglass palette strobing. Re oh, rebuy it. Oh, you rebought it. Wow. Wow. Jerry Morrison said there are 327 people watching and only 234 people have thumbs this up. Guys, I have to tell you, so I'm going to bronze while I, while I, oh, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use to bronze because this is one of the things I'm really excited about. This is what the Michelle Wong sent. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Can we talk about this packaging? Like what? Ah! Okay. I've wa I've been wanting to try this forever. So let me grab a brush. Got my refer P22. Someone commented the other day and they were like, I thought you said you didn't like bronzer and contour. Like, like basically like, you're a liar. I was like, um, I, first of all, I, I love bronzer. Bronzer I love. And a bronzer I love. Not so much with the contour. There is a difference. And if you don't know the difference, well, whose fault is that? So anyway, <laughs> bronzing is more about like warming up the face, right? And giving it warming it up and giving it dimension. Contour I feel like is a little bit more specific and it's like, like it's just very, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a very technical way to um, describe contour. So, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna use this mirror actually. Enhance my lighting. Yes. Oh, no, that's too much. That's just right. This is actually really nice. It's really subtle. This is a very, like, cool tone bronzer. And this is the light medium. So this is perfect for people who have a fair complexion. Uh, yes, this is the Refer P22 brush. It's my, it really is my favorite bronzer brush I've ever found. On the chin, on the chin. <laughs> Amber R, that description of contour is why you're killing the YouTube game. <laughs> That's right, I'm a teacher. I'm 
next. Oh, Tracy315, snap. Tracy said, plus we are allowed to change our minds at any time. Exactly. Also, like, even if I did become a contour queen, so what? Like, I get to change my mind. I mean, what's your problem? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm just seeing what I missed. So, okay, this is what I'm going to say. So the other day, I had the joy and the pleasure of moderating Michelle's, Michelle Wong's live stream. And I loved it. I loved it. This falls in the category to me of when, you know, I when I was a performer with Disney, I, I've told this story before where part of being a performer for Disney Cruise Line, like in their main stage shows is like five hours a week, you have to <sighs> pay your dues, I guess, and <clears throat> be a facilitator of the lines for like Mickey and Minnie. It's, it's terrible. I mean, it's amazing. Um, and I would always be the person who cuts the line because I, I was just, you know, I'm just good at it. Like I'm good at saying no, I'm heartless, I'm cruel, I'm terrible, I've, I'm black inside, like whatever, choose one. And so, um, <clears throat> so anyway, that falls in the same category as moderating <laughs> because you, 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 you get to get rid of the assholes essentially, not not that anyone who shows up to these is an asshole. <laughs> that never happens. But if it did happen, I would be there. And so there really were there really wasn't too much to deal with. But I will tell you that I 100% was like 30 times in the live stream. I was like, there are there are 500 people here and only 188 people have thumbs up. And I would just like, that's just like what I would do the whole time. And I did have a few people ask. They literally didn't, they didn't know. They're like, what does that do? Why do I need a thumbs up? Like, what's the big deal? Or is it different for a live stream? Like, does it matter for a live stream? It always matters. It always matters. It literally takes you nothing to click the thumbs up and it's engagement and it helps push that video like further into the algorithm because that's what engagement does. So thumbs up. <laughs> no. Now. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're done. We bronzed. But are we done? But are but like are we though? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like where we're going. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, good. I think we're done. So Lauren said we're not done. Mm, okay, maybe a little bit more. It is a subtle bronze. If you're looking for a subtle bronze, this is it. Although I think I'm going a little hard with it. But you know what? It's okay, because we're going to go back in and we're going to like we're gonna blend it all out and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, next, eyes, eyes. Randy said, this might be the second biggest turnout. Are you talking about here? Yeah. Oh, yes, this is this is the most people I think we've ever had a li at a live stream. So I am so excited. Thank you guys all for being here. All right, let me, what am I, people are just writing novels on here. I just have to see what's happening. Zana Rodriguez, hi from Portugal. I'm about to go to bed. It's 1 a.m. here. You're the very best, Kate. Very funny. Wish you all the best to you and everyone that is watching. Yes. Good night. Good night. I started too low. Um, mm-hmm. Jenna Robinson, I'm going to presume that some people just don't know what thumbs thumbing up is. Maybe they're drunk. Exactly. And that's why I'm here to literally force you into thumb, thumbsing, thumbsing up, thumbing up, whatever. K 
Kate, Kate said, girl, I have to say randomly using your, she, she said she's using the link for the Good Molecules skincare. I'm so grateful that A, I could support you and B, that I got some amazing products that have changed my face. That's awesome. Good Molecules is great. I love Good Molecules. Um, and Jerry Morrison said, and new friends can also please subscribe. Jerry Morrison is militant. She means business. J Jennifer Gould, like I said, if we all thumbs up before it even starts, then it could in theory push Kate's live stream to be suggested before it even starts. Well, Jennifer Gould is now my new manager. Jennifer, you're welcome. <laughs> Come on over. Let's talk. Just kidding. Okay, before I go on, this is the Glossier Skywash. This is a brand new shade. Okay, it's called Echo. It is a chocolate brown. If you guys don't know what Skywash is, it is a cream to matte shadow in a tube. And it's a delight and a joy, but the best way to apply it really is with your finger. What's happening? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm already screwing up. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, whoa, hold on, we're gonna blend it out, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go a little silent for this because this is great, but gotta focus a little bit here. Amanda Sanford said those sky washes intimidate me. No, they're so good. They're so good and they're so easy to use. You don't even need a, need a brush, but you do. Oh, wow, I'm just kind of a mess tonight, aren't I? But you do, you really do have to, you know, work a little bit rapidly. And make sure it's blended. But like, is this not like the quickest, easiest smoky eye you've ever seen? And I'm gonna go back in and blend out like the hard edge up there with a lighter shadow, but like, what? It's so easy, so easy. I feel like I need like a little bit more on the edge. But just like a little bit more though, right there. Okay, perfect. See, we're done. We're freaking done. <clears throat> Kate, where is your head wrap from, guys? I'm so sorry. I don't know. My mom sent it to me, and I need. I should have found out where it's from. I think it's somewhere on Etsy. Maricela said that eyeshadow colors bomb. Thanks, Maricela. Can't wait for this part to be over. God, I'm always so, so excited for the eyes to be done. I just, it is my least favorite thing to do out of everything. I just find it to be like the most tedious, not mascara, but shadow and liner. I'm like, oh my God, are we ever gonna be done? Like I wanna poke my eyes out. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Sound like Jackie Q. Who's Jackie Q? Get, get into the Greek. 
Oh, that's right. Oh, we watched that too. Okay, we have things to cover here. We watched we watched movies. We've got to chat about them. Is Jackie Q Russell Brand? What? No, it's uh, Rose Byrne. Oh, oh yeah, her too. <laughs> wow, I'm really paying attention to the movies we're watching. Apparently. Okay, I'll talk about it, but I can't talk about it right now. Bonnie said, joining with the Blue Moon Mango Wheat. Wow, that sounds delicious. Yes, yes. Okay, so if you guys are wondering what I'm using ever, you know where to find it in the description box. Yeah, I actually tried to use a brush to apply the blue one, and it was a, a disaster. It was an actual disaster, so do, don't use a brush. <laughs> yes, my nail polish is in the description box, and it's bomb. This is what it is. Is that not stunning? I don't know if you can see, but it's called Free Fall, and it's from a company called ILNP. They're a boutique nail polish company. I think they're out of Las Vegas. And... Um, they make all these really beautiful like chromes and like holographic um, nail polishes and they, they spread really evenly over the nail because you know what? I really just can't with a nail polish that doesn't spread well. Oh my God, are we almost done? Jeez Louise. Are they even? Eh, we'll, leave. Eh, we'll even it out. We'll even it out in a second, but I do feel like five thumbs downs. Ooh, the haters. The haters are here tonight in droves. Hi, haters. How you doing? <laughs> I really just want to make sure that like this outside part is even. I don't know why that's like really important to me, but it is. Okay, if I spend any more time on this, I'm going to throw myself out the window. Okay. <clears throat> so tired. But you know what? Here's the thing about thumbs downs, still engagement. That's what I don't understand about like people who do that. I'm like, you know that like literally this is helping my channel, right? Like, oh, but you didn't know that? Oh, okay, well, I guess that's your loss and my gain. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to just take an eyeshadow that's the color of my eye. I feel like I should have, my eyes are hooded, so I probably should have gone like a little higher with it, but whatever. We're not going back, guys. Like, I just can't with that. But I'm just like, Blending that out. Ooh, this brush feels good. Mm. The problem is my eyes aren't even. Like I have more lid space over here because this eyebrow is overarched and this one's lower. And I can never, I feel like I can never get them even, but what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? Stephanie Leslie, I kind of think the thumbs down people do know that and just do it to be funny. I'm not one of them, it's just a theory. Why would you do that to be funny? Like. No one knows you're being funny. You're just like laughing to yourself as you're like randomly clicking thumbs downs. Like, what? <laughs> Whoa, that is, I mean, if that's true, trolls are even stupider than I thought. I just really feel like, all right. No, you know what? This eye needs more shadow. <laughs> 
Guys, I don't want to tell you. Like, we have to get this perfect. And we're going to be here all night, it, it, you know, just to, to make sure it is. This eye... This is not making this eye shadow seem super easy, but I, I swear <laughs> it is. It's just like, I just want to make sure that they're even, okay? Okay, I'm feeling better about this. I'm feeling better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Amanda Sanford just said Kate. Amanda, tell me more. <sighs> All right, we're done. We're, we're freaking done because I just like, I can't with that. Just going around, just making everything nice and blended. <laughs> Never buying Skywash ever. Well, you know what? Fine. If you do buy Skywash, I will say, I haven't tried the Echo and I do like it. However, this this is the color you should get. The the Palm, this is like the perfect one and done eyeshadow. Are you saying you don't like my eyeshadow? Is that what you're saying? All right, we have to move on. Like I'm over it, I'm just over it. Okay, next. Emily Han Han, those matte glossier shadows are like the last kind of eyeshadow I'd want, personally. Well, Lottie freaking da, Emily. <laughs> I can't do it. All right. I guess like everyone's just hating on the shadow, so let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to do brows. Ooh, this is to the end. I feel so accomplished. Okay, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Well, here's the thing. The Sky Wash is one of my favorite products at Glossier. Um, maybe not this color. I like this color. It's fine, but it takes a little bit of work. I love the blue, which is uh, called Pool, and I love the color I just showed you. They are amazing and they're so easy and I just I love it <laughs> unfortunately you didn't make it look one and done well I know listen guys I'm not a miracle worker okay my god what do you want me to do I can only do what I can do but it is one and done Leslie $15 happy 15 Kate thank you Leslie thank you for the Venmo uh, yes Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sarah Kleinsmith said she just got the Lid Star. She's obsessed with that. The Lid Star is super easy. And I love the Lid Star. I have like three of the shades in the Lid Star. Lid Star is a creamy, um, a cream shadow that has shimmer to it. Sarah said she thinks it looks great. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> At least someone does. No, guys, this is like I'm trying. Some of these things I'm trying for the first time. So you know what? It's okay. It's okay. If we're not in love. Mm-hmm. 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 We're getting there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now Carolina has to go to bed. Good night, Carolina. Um, Kate Puglia said, the echo is right up my alley too. It's a wonderful color. It makes your eyes pop. Kate, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. I like it. Okay, now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Gel. Guys, I just don't have a bunch of brow products. Like, I just don't. I 
I kind of have like a few and then I use them over and over again. So I'm sorry about that. This is dried the hell out, but it's how I like it. The, oh, Lauren said stop saying sorry. Okay. Okay, you're right, Lauren, you're right. When you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, what, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm just going to take a spoolie brush and kind of got a little groucho marks there. Just a little bit, just a tad. Just brush it out. Ooh, 300 thumbs up. It's all working. Okay, so we watched Get Him to the Greek the other night. Now, have you seen it? It has Jonah Hill, Russell Brand, and Rose Byrne, and it actually is very funny. Now, the reason I have not watched that movie is because I literally thought it was about fraternities. And before we started it, Randy's like, you know, like, you know what it's about, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's about a, f a frat house. And he's like, N no, that's absolutely not what it's about. And I was like, oh. Okay. But it was hilarious. I think Jonah Hill is <laughs> one of the funniest people ever. Russell Brand, I don't think I've actually ever seen him in anything and I was blown away, but I've also heard that he's hilarious. So, um, and Rose Byrne pretty much can do anything. A absolutely anything. Uh, comic comic genius. So I really enjoyed that. Um, we also watched Three Amigos. <laughs> I kind of had to have my teeth pulled a little bit on that one because I was like, I don't know. I saw it when I was really little, and I think it's gonna be one of those things where, you know, I don't, I don't think it's as fun now as an adult. And I'm here to tell you. It was so fun. It was so fun. It totally holds up. And it, like, you would think it didn't age well. You know, it's these three white white guys in Mexico <laughs> mansplaining their way through this Mexican village. Um, but it's perfect. It totally holds up because it's literally just now. So, <laughs> really, like, the three of them, Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase, are, like, the biggest just like egotistical but also kind of like dumb and love you know you love them they're dumb and they're actors who go to this why am i explaining the plot to you like you don't know the plot of three amigos i mean get out of here if you don't know it just google it Jeez, do i have to tell you do i have to explain everything to you so <laughs> i'm still so happy i'm done with my eyes like i'm still celebrating inside and like my eyes are done my eyes are done moving on now we can live our lives it it really does um it really does hold up because and it's it's very relevant the scene where oh new product new product new product this is a new mascara this is the milk makeup ubame i think is how you pronounce it Ubam, ubame uh mascara i'm a little skeptical um because what what's happening but you know what we're not judging because this might change lives so let's find out i'm scrolling up oh carolyn wilson is here she had a hospital meeting that unfortunately took priority. I hope to, yes, that's much more important than this. <laughs> but thank you for coming. Um, okay, okay, so anyway, Steve Martin. The scene where Martin Short is sitting on the stoop and he's surrounded by all these like 
Mexican girls. And he's like telling them this like Hollywood story about he how he he once worked with Hunihan and Wanishmata Bada. Who knows what he said? But like he's just just like <laughs> going on about days of yore and like when he worked with the fabulous whoever, and they're just all staring at him. The people who are extras in this movie, the, the Mexican people in the village who are extras in this movie are the stars of the movie because they are giving you the most like deadpan, just like don't know what's happening. Like, why are these buffoon white men like in our town? Just what are they even talking about? They're just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And he is just reliving his best years in show business. <sighs> It really made me laugh. It really made me LOL. Um, it also reminded me a lot of theater people. Just dropping names left and right. Just gotta, gotta tell everyone who you worked with. Okay, so how do I feel about this mascara? I don't know. I'm skeptical about the balls. That's what she said. <sighs> oh my god get away no you can't be a part of my mascara process i do i do like the wand oh my god are you kidding me is there something there's something in this mascara that's attracting the gnat <sighs> um so yeah i like it I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm always comparing things to my roller lash, my Benefit roller lash. I wouldn't buy this over that. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's actually, it's, my lashes, oh, I don't know. I take it back. My lashes look really good. I take it back. Back it up, 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 back it up. This is a very specific formula. I looked it up on Sephora and I was like, well, I'm not gonna be able, to be able to remember that. It's like made of like charcoal essence or something. I, who, who the hell knows, but it's very special and you should look it up if you want. Okay, actually I'm kind of into it. I kind of feel like I look like I have false lashes on. All right, well, it's linked in the description box. So there you have it. Oh, Ugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lisa Lancet is here. Hi, Kate. Better late than never. I'm at the beach and just logged in. Megalove Ultra and fresh lime juice in hand. Well, wow. Wow. Lisa, excuse me. Excuse me. Only one I know at the beach. Kate's telling me to drink. Oh, Laura said this mess. Are you telling you this mascara flakes? Huh? All right. I am. I am kind of mystified about this wand, but I'm sure. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I feel like it's getting in there. Like I'm able to. I don't know. Do you guys like how it looks? You tell me. Okay, so we watched Three Amigos, still holds up. We also watched, I made Randy watch it last night because he hadn't seen it, Don Juan DeMarco. Anyone seen it? Guys, that was one of my favorite movies growing up. I loved Don Juan DeMarco. I've seen it like too many times. Johnny Depp, Marlon Brando in his heavy years, just to be clear. I'm kidding. I love Marlon Brando. I love Marlon Brando. Um, and uh, uh, Faye Dunaway, who once like completely body checked me at the Sundance Film Festival and didn't apologize, but she did a great job. I mean, she did a good job in the movie. She's amazing. Um, Randy liked it. It definitely had some like super cheesy like 90s romantic comedy tropes that 
upon viewing as an adult, I'm a little bit like judging and side eye because it was kind of dumb in some places, but I forgave it because the performances are so good. Marlon Brando, I love him in that movie. It's totally his movie, even though, you know, Johnny Depp is, you know, I was going to say we love Johnny Depp, but rather we loved Johnny Depp at one time. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have a lot to say, except it was just enjoyable. And they did overplay that Brian Adams song. Like it was like too much. Like literally every scene was just a, like a different version of, have you ever really loved a woman? And the characters quote the lyrics. And the characters quote the lyrics of that Brian Adams song. But that's part of what we love about it. That's part of what we love. Faye Dunaway's, you know, her part is underwritten because she's a woman and it's the 90s. She's the wife. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's enchanting. And um, I think it kind of like straddles the line of reality and fantasy like you're not sure like what's real and what's not anyway just go watch it i don't know what else to say am i forgetting something i thought i had more thoughts on this i don't <sighs> okay <laughs> sarah goldfarb Faye dunaway once gave me the finger on the highway in la what how did you know it was Faye? were you like Okay, well, that's amazing. I think I need to do my lower lashes a little bit more. Um, that's a great story. Oh, and man, Randy actually met Faye Dunaway when he was serving at a restaurant here that's like very, a lot of celebs go there. And apparently she was very nice to him. So, hmm, well, it's a nice treat. But also batshit cray cray. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People keep on talking about the Thrive Mascara, and it's something that I've really wanted to try, but then I've heard some mixed things about it, but it's supposed to give you, like, the longest lashes of your entire life. So, anyone? Do I need to try it? Someone just, someone, I, I missed who said it, but... Anyway, okay, we're, guys, we're getting, we're so close. We're so close. Christian Milano, my husband told me that Marlon Brando was in love with Wally Cox. Wait, who? Wally Cox, who's that? I don't know. Um, there's a lot, we actually, like, I, I am BD'd Marlon Brando. I mean, I obviously, I know some things about him, but like, it was like the things that happened to him in his life were so tragic and there was so much controversy and so much just banana stuff. That I, I was like, I have to put this away for another time. Like this is like a day of reading. Like what a, oh, he's a mess. He's a mess. And he was just, just like with all the ladies all the time and just the wives and just horrible things happening to his children and ay, 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 ay. Okay. Okay, now, now we're gonna move on to Blursh. Now I'm super excited. This is, this is the moment when I pull out my Laura Mercier blush color infusion. I have two different shades. Yes, it is because Michelle Wong sent it to me. And um, I have it in strawberry strawberry okay which is a matte cool pink and i have it in peach which um is a coral and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it i'm gonna i'm gonna use both because yeah we're gonna be extra that's how we're gonna do it so first i'm gonna go in with the strawberry Sarah Goldfarb, Marlon Brando had an affair with Richard Pryor. That's what I read. But then we were like, but did he though? That is so extra. Like what? <sighs> okay. 
Okay, Donna Engel is here. Hi, Donna. Okay, so we're gonna do the strawberry first. This is what we're using, the Laura Mercier Blush and Beauty. I just like holding the pan up because it's so pretty. This is one of Michelle Wong's favorite blushes. This came highly recommended. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, we're not gonna go too crazy with that because then we're gonna use the peach. The reason I saved the peach for last with the blush is because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. People are freaking out about Mar Marlon Brando and Richard Pryor. I don't know, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just checking the thumbs up. But you know what? Damn, you guys are killing it. Like 317 thumbs ups and 345 people are here. That's that's what I'm talking about, guys. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so again, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Peach Blush. I guess I'll just use the mirror on this. This, I don't know if you can see that. This is beautiful. Like, I feel like I use peach and coral blush all the time, so that's why I'm mixing the two, just for something a little bit different. I mean, not that different, let's be honest, but a little bit different. Um... Val, Val said, uh, will you continue the live streams after quarantine? I, w I will definitely do live streams. I don't know if I'll do as many, but you know what? If they keep being popular, sure. Why not? Right? Okay. See how there's like a little bit of shimmer there? I mean, it's very subtle, but gorge, gorge. I will definitely continue to live stream. Definitely, 100%. Okay, so now we're almost done, guys. I'm gonna do the lips. Okay, drugstore. <laughs> Where are the cheap, ha the cheap asses in the house? Where my cheap asses at? Woo woo. Okay. So this is the Revlon. It's in the description box. I forget what it's called and it isn't marked on here, but it's called like <sighs> Michael Brown, how do you deal with the pressure of live streams? Anything live is always so much harder in my opinion. Um it took some getting used to, definitely. And I'm a, probably also because I'm a performer. So I've done live theater all my life. So once I kind of got, got used to it, um, that's, you know, sort of, I don't know. No, I want to say it's my training, but like no one can train for a live stream because even if you're trained in live theater, this is just weird. This is like, we're, we're in the future guys. Like we're in the space age now and this is just life. So um, it's definitely strange. It took some getting used to. Okay, so this is called the, oh, there's a bunch of cheap asses here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Lauren Boyless said, this is the cushion lip from Revlon. Oh my God, this freaking gnat. Is, it's basically like a balm in a tint in one. I mean, it's very subtle, so I'm gonna get super close it really feels like you're almost putting like ooh, it's so smooth it's like a your lips but better i'm gonna kind of twist it here so more comes out oh i you know what this gnat can go straight to hell we're gonna talk later once this is over Okay, actually, you know what? I don't love, I, I liked that when it was subtle, but now it feels, it looks a little gray. 
I'm gonna blot that. Oh, Lauren liked it. Okay, well, that's better. That's better, like a little bit, a little, su little subtler. That's not a word. Okay, now we are going to go in with the Iconic London. This I got in a BoxyCharm ages ago and I never used it. The Iconic London uh, Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade, oh my God, I can't even read anymore. It's all, it's happening guys. I'm getting old before your very eyes. Nearly nude, nearly nude. Ooh, it does feel like, it kind of has that, it's like not tingly, but you know how like plumping glosses have just like a little bit of, there's like a minty tingle, to, just a slight, it's very slight. I don't often do a nude lip because I get nervous it's gonna wash me out. Or not nervous, but I'm just like, eh. But you know what? We gotta mix it up. We gotta mix it up here. Do my lips look luscious and plumped? Mmm, yes they do. <laughs> Especially when I'm poof up my lips like that. Mmm, mmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, we need more, we need more. More. Okay, actually, I like that. I'm impressed. I was like, I don't care about this. I actually do. And I, it's been sitting here for like a year. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed with it. <sighs> All right, who knew? So that's that. It's kind of like, the reason I didn't use this was it's like a little taupey, but like, but I'm not mad about it. Also, I do feel like my lips look bigger. Okay, now last. Last, we're going in with the highlight from that Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Yes, it's that right there. All right, let's see. I am going to use my, this is actually what I use to set my under eye. This is one of my favorite BK Beauty brushes. It's the 108, which is the, uh, you can, I just set everything. You can use it for your under eye and you can use it for your highlighter. Ooh. Yes. I'm gonna put it up here on the high point of my forehead as well, just to really be extra. And boop, right there in the money spot. Boop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This didn't look like it's interesting because like in the pan, this doesn't look like super glowy and exciting, but it's actually stunning. Lauren's instructing me to put it on my Cupid's bow. All right, Lauren. You got it, girl. You got it. Here we go. Okay. Cupid's bow. Oh. Okay, we're going to tone it down. Hold on. Okay. I don't want to look sweaty. I don't want to look sweaty. I'm going to do my nose. I mean, because why not, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Wow. Well, I'm really loving the combination of products. It all worked out. Even though, was, even though people were even though there was a gnat that won't give up and people were mad about how the eyeshadow took too long, it all worked out.
And yeah, I really, I'm trying to think like what my favorite, what I'm most impressed with. I would definitely say, I mean, it's like, do I even have to, this, this was an incredible. And then I, I love both the blushes, but I have to say the winner for me is, I like them in combination because I like a, a pinky peach, but the, the peach has that little bit of a shimmer and it's just, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So the blushes, really just what, just what Michelle Wong sent me, I love. And then I did, I wasn't mad. I like the lip gloss. I really like it for the cheap asses out there. <laughs> you guys said it. I'm just repeating it. I did like the, um, this cushion formula. I really like the formula on this. I'd probably try a different color, but I really liked this. And yeah, those are probably my faves. So that's the finished Luke. Mm -hmm. And what are you guys saying? What's going on? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. <laughs> Jerry Morrison would, Jerry Morrison said, Sebastian the Crab would say, Pook up your lips, look deuce. That's one of my favorite quotes from The Little Mermaid. I mean, I hate to be the person who quotes Disney movies tonight, but you got to butt your eyes like this. You got to pook up your lips like this. All right, guys, we're done. I think we're done. So if you could, most of you already have. Oh, wow, 333 people thumbs up this and 329 people are now watching. So I, I really can't. <laughs> I can't yell at you anymore. What am I going to do? So thank you guys so much for, for, you know, being there for me and for actually following my instruction. Um, everything in, is in the description box that I used. Um, if you don't know, or you're new to my channel. I do these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 PM Eastern standard time. Guys, before you leave, share, share that shit. That's what I'm talking about. Take a video of mine and throw it up on the social meds because just saying it really helps. And what else do I wanna say? <sighs> what is today? Monday. We have two more of these this week. It's gonna be great. So this Wednesday, 7 p.m., I am going to be putting out a new video tomorrow. So get excited for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.